Hello everyone, Google Cloud IAM. IAM stands for Identity and Access Management. It's a unified controls which enables you to create the permission for user and the applications. In this video, I'll explain you how to create the permission for the users and the service account for the applications. Come, let's go. Please log into your Google Cloud console and go to navigation menu on the left hand side and just come down a little bit and you would be seeing option called IAM and admin just click on that and it will direct you to the page called IAM so in this IAM you can add uh, individual users and also the permissions for the resources or else you can create a service account for an applications before getting into a demo let me explain you what is IAM IAM is identity access management control which comes under a security where you can secure your resources or your project or your organization on the IAM level if I want to be more precise if you want to control your resources which want to be accessed by a set of people or set of project team or set of um, a project team it can be given on the granular level okay and it can be also restricted on the resource layers also service account service account which is created only for the applications for example when you want to automate something and when you want to log in with your credentials you cannot use your individual account so in that case the service account will come in picture where the service account credentials are used to automate all your necessary resources okay let me walk you through how to create a permission for an individual users first we want to click on this IAM and you would be seeing a default or I, I, I have already added few users to the project you might be seeing some um, a default service account which is created by Google itself when you create this account and you, you don't want to worry about it and I have used this uh, Gmail account to create uh, your Google account it might be the same for you when you try to use your uh, Google Cloud console you might be using a Google Cloud or Gmail account so you can add your account maybe I can show you an example so I have already added my mine one. maybe I can remove it I can just add one more time okay so here just click on I am add and go to new members and you can just um, give access to yourself or or else you can give it to your see I've given it it shows mail me dot sudhakar at gmail dot com sudhakar raju okay and if you want to give for someone else you can also give it to your friends because since it's a it's a gmail it's a google account it actually takes all your contacts from your uh, contact details it shows email address domains must be associated okay so it is saying it is saying it's already available so it cannot give so maybe I can give it to someone else in my list so I have a friend called Akash I'm giving to him see it shows Akash dot trust God Gmail account I'm trying to give you the roles so coming to roles roles are, are different you know roles it can be applicable to a, a services what is offered by a Google for example when you come to a BigQuery see there are a lot of options available for BigQuery BigQuery admin, BigQuery data owner, viewer, job users um, and read, read session users it means uh, applications can be uh, uh, can be readable or it can be editable or it can be you know it's just uh, uh, view permissions in that case you can give permissions to the uh, the particular applications or the services based on the requirement for example if an application user wants to have only the read access only read access can be given if application needs to be just edit you can give an edit option if it is executable you can give a power user for that so in this case what I'm going to give is um, let me choose a network networking uh, topic so so coming to stack driver so stack driver I'm giving the access to a stack driver account viewer so meaning Akash can access a stack driver account just as a viewer access 
he cannot do anything else he cannot edit or he cannot uh, perform some actions he can go and see this data stack driver data available on the monitoring tool okay so right now so the user has been given the permission you can add another role also for example if he wants to be given us some other access for example he want he want to have a uh, access to the billing you know so i can give him as a project billing access okay i'm giving another another role to him saying okay i can give him to access to um, maybe for uh, um, kubernetes engine okay there are a lot of options for kubernetes engine uh, he has i mean there are options of admin a cluster admin and viewer access okay so we want to identify what he belongs to and which department he belongs to for example if he belongs to a um, uh, demand management if he belongs to particular team which he doesn't want to have access to the network layer then we can restrict on this particular uh, particular roles if he belongs to a, a department where he wants to attach the network he wants to spawn the vms and he wants to reserve the ip address then you have to check the similar roles and he have to give the permissions for them so now i'm just seeing i can give the access to kubernetes engine i'm just saving it what happens okay so it creates a account for him and you can see the roles assigned to the respective users okay and it can be deleted also when you can just click on the edit and you can just see the delete button over here and you can just delete it and you can save the options right okay this is the im which is given to the individual users right okay coming to service account what is service account service accounts are created for application users why you can't use a um, IAM for individual users yes you can use it but when it comes to a uh, uh, automation for example you have a pipeline of running multiple uh, models which needs a credentials you cannot just enter your password username password in between in middle of your script and you might be not aware it might be running on the background which you need to get into this mission and you have to give the username and password which is a little difficult so to avoid that uh, google had a you uh, know a new um, feature called a service account which can be integrated with the application where you can run your background script using these credentials okay you just need to create a user credentials and you have to pass the credentials to the respective automation team or if you want to if you want to automate your your particular um, models or your, your particular service it can be also done okay let me walk you through how to create a service account so the same same of um, i am tab you can just see an option called service account and you have a button on the top right just click on the service account uh, the service account name can be anything i am just giving as a test service account okay and it it will create with its own uh, um, account and service account description saying it is for automation automation and just creating it once you create it and you have an option to download the json file where it has a credential where it has the uh, the secret key which can be given to the respective team here also a uh, additional role is uh, given to that uh, um, service account for example if the if the applications wants to collect a data for a, a database okay uh, database teams has approached you maybe uh, maybe i can just search as database okay see there is some database available or i can just also choose cloud sql okay you are creating a service account to, for an sql team where they need to uh, get a role based on their permission maybe they can create the sql database maybe they can be a viewer they can be an editor also for example an sql database team would be having uh, internal uh, segregation based on the admins based on the viewers based on the editors okay so you can also create uh, three different teams in the sql uh, team and you can you can uh, you can you know isolate the permission based on the requirement for example sql team would be having a strength of 30 you can divide it 10 10 people and one 10 of people can be given as an admin another 10 can be given as a reader another 10 can be an editor 
so each each role has its own uh, responsibility and each has its own permissions okay right now we are creating one service account uh, with one role call as sql admin which mean it has a full access okay it shows you know full control to the sql cloud sql resources okay you can also add another control to the service account where the service account can be integrated I mean can have this um, particular permission where it can do its job perfectly so i'm just clicking on the continue option okay it shows grant user to the service account is an option you know it mean you can uh, you can actually uh, 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 you know you can use a, you can add some users to the service account which is an optional which is not I, I, from my from my point i don't see it uh, value added i don't see any point in that you know a service account has um, uh, ability to do its uh, performance or operation based on the role and again top of that giving an uh, additional uh, username i don't see a value in it maybe there are a lot of a couple of options would be added now but uh, i have not gone through this um, you know this optional maybe uh, let me explore you a little bit on this and i can come back to you on this so here you have an option called create key which creates a json file okay it's another format called p12 usually generally json format is uh, created okay once you click on the create key, create key option it it asks you to download it so i will it down when you just click it goes to download a folder and you can just open it okay see this is your this is your key of the service account okay this is a private key of the service account and once you close it and just do a submit and done okay see now you can see a service account which is created for in your name the service account which is for automation okay and this is the um the email address which is creator of service account so where you can share this email account okay and the json file to the respective team from there they will start deploying the resources or they can use their applications for watch request which has been created okay so let me give a summarize uh, so iam is for a individual user where you can create a individual user and you can also assign to the resources for service account you can create a service account and you can uh, um, attach a rows to that and download the json file and pass the json file with the email id to the respective team to use the applications got it and these are the different kind of um, permissions available in iim maybe i can just cover it in the coming sessions i hope this would be helpful for you if you have any questions please do comment on this below this video thank you so much Hope you understood how to create permission for users on the service account. If you like this video, please like it, share it and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, please do drop the comment in the below the video. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.